Hi, this is Casey with Blue Marble Consulting, and today we'll be covering SAP General Ledger on S4 HANA and Fiori. So the new Fiori application for this, uh, for financial statement, allows you to look at GL balances, GL line items. It provides a real-time insight into the financial results of a company and allows for immediate drill down to the highest granularity in your line item detail for just about any account. So in this example, we identify high costs and profit and loss statement, and we track it down to the relevant documents and show the simplicity in the functionality of SAP HANA for the SAP HANA user. Let's jump over into our demo. And what we've got here is we've got our Fiori Launchpad. And uh, for this scenario, we'll go ahead and begin by selecting our financial statement KPI. This allows us to see the balance sheet for a single company. So from here, if we want to dig further, we can go ahead and expand a hierarchy node for our current assets. And what we've got is a more detailed account, and at a quick glance, everything appears to be okay. But if we want to do further analyzation, we'll go ahead and pick our profit and loss. And here we can see that our profit and loss for our company between 2012 and 2013 shows a fairly high deviation or loss. So from here, we can go ahead and look at our material expenses because we know there is a big loss there, a fairly good sized loss. And then we can see it's down further on purchased service expenses. So if we drill down into that and then we uh, move down a little bit, we can see that our purchased service expenses and our third party expenses, um, they are showing us a high deviation from 2012 to 13. So if we want to, we can dig down into the amount and next we can choose compare. We've got our, we do have our debits and credits and our balance if they want to, um, done by period, if they want to see it here. But if we want to do an annual comparison, we can go into compare. And what we've got here is our 2013, 2012, and 2011 comparison. So what we can see here is a very high value for 2013. We could drill down into that. And now we can see this period for high values. And it lets us see more specifically those six documents that were posted to create that value. And this is where the user could analyze more relevant documents to find the reason for that loss in 2013. This is where they could really drill down and figure out why their expenses are off and their, their profit and loss is showing such a big loss. So with that, we can show a little bit of the functionality of these screens also. So users from here, uh, if they want to see their data presented differently, they can filter their data and choose how they'd like to see it. They can go down and they can filter their columns or change their columns to find data that they uh, would find relevant amount and transaction currencies, taxes, um, you know, their profit centers if they're hitting them, if they're involved, your GL accounts specifically, um, just some data like that. They can sort their currencies or their amounts. Um, that's just easy if they're looking, if there's a lot of them posted here, say more six, than six documents. They can also filter their document types so they can group them and filter them. And if they wanted to look at say, just some general ledger documents, you know, they might go ahead and drill down and, and narrow it down to filter out any document that is in an SA. You can see we've got our SA and SB grouping here. So just in review, we looked at a financial statement balance sheet we looked at their current assets or their P&Ls associated. And lastly, we covered how we presented the data and how it can be customized to best fit um, a user's required output, whether it be for themselves or for their organization. So if you have any more questions about S4 HANA or Blue Marble Consulting, we can be reached by any of the information provided on the screen. Thank you.